In 2008, Tesla debuted as an American electric vehicle company with the Tesla Roadster, an all-electric sports car based on the Lotus Elise platform. With its impressive battery life and performance, the Roadster helped in changing some of the negative perceptions that had plagued electric cars since the beginning. Despite an uncertain future, in 2012, Tesla went all out with their next model, the Model S, an all-electric sedan that has captured the world's attention thanks to its practicality and mind-boggling performance. The car also hosted a bunch of innovative features that were never seen before. Fast forward to 2015, Tesla delivered the long-awaited Model X, again offering its innovative features such as the Falcon doors and bioweapon defense mode. Moving forward to 2017, Tesla revealed the most affordable office vehicle, the Model 3, which is to this day the best-selling electric car ever. With a knack for innovation and doing things a little differently, and after establishing itself as a key player within the automotive sphere, all eyes were on Tesla when rumors of a next-generation Roadster started to surface. Given the newfound reputation, resources, and the confidence, everyone was curious about how a new Roadster from Tesla would be like. Revealed as a surprise at the end of the Tesla Semi event in 2017, the second generation Roadster is one hell of a car. It is capable of going from 0 to 62 miles per hour or from 0 to 100 km per hour in an unbelievable 1.9 seconds. And it will keep going for a thousand kilometers before running out of its 200 kilowatt hour battery. However, given that it was just a prototype and we still haven't seen the production model yet, there is a lot of debate of what the car can and cannot do. And to fuel this debate, CEO Elon Musk announced in 2018 that the customers can spec their car with a special feature called the SpaceX Option Package. The idea is to have 10 small rockets strategically placed around the car for various functionalities. The exact position of where these rockets will be placed is not known as of now except for one, which will be behind the rear number plate. It will expel gas in the rear direction to propel the car forward. As for the remaining 9 thrusters, we can just guess their location for now. A few of them, for example, can be placed on top of the car, and the resulting thrust will push the car downwards to increase grip. A couple of them can be placed on both sides of the car, to aid in cornering at high speed. Similarly, by putting them at the front of the car, the reverse thrust can help in braking. Now all these small rockets will be of the cold variety, which means that there will be no combustion or chemical reaction involved. Which makes sense, seeing that it is a zero emission vehicle. So, how will it actually work? Well, in place of the rear seats, a tank known as Composite Overwrap Pressure Vessel or COPV will be installed. It is basically an aluminium tank that is wrapped with carbon fiber and it can be cylindrical or spherical. The spherical shape is a lot stronger than the cylindrical one, however, it is also more expensive to make. The purpose of this vessel is to store high pressure gases in a very small space. The gas in particular that will be stored in the COPV is compressed nitrogen. To get this compressed nitrogen, there will be an electric pump attached with the COPV. And since nitrogen makes more than 70% of our atmosphere, it will pull air straight from the atmosphere and compress it to be stored in the COPV. Now whether the car extracts pure nitrogen from the air or not remains to be seen. Also attached to the COPV will be these high pressure lines that will run to all the different exit points. Now obviously, a computer will decide which thrusters to activate or deactivate depending upon the requirement. Lastly, the velocity of the escaping high pressure gas will greatly depend on the design of the nozzle. So, is it actually possible? Well, the technology is actually being used in space rockets so it isn't just a concept. How it will be implemented in a car would be an interesting challenge though. 
One thing is certain, it would be illegal to use this tech on public roads. Aside from the issue of safety, the sudden expansion of gases will create a lot of noise. And I'm not sure if many countries will be happy to have a rocket installed behind a movable number plate. I suppose the car would detect if it's out of the city or on a race track, and only then it will allow the driver to use the SpaceX package. I do hope you got the basic idea of what the team at Tesla are up to. And it would be fascinating to see how they implement this feature. If you like the video and would like to see similar content, then please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you.